Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Love it. Well, gotta so protect the hair, though, on a gotta, day like today, right? Yeah, yeah. day like yeah. today. Yeah, the rain just goes and you go and do it all nice. You walk outside in the rain, you're like, thanks a lot, Mother Nature. <laughs> so glad I dried my hair today. But yeah, dealing with light rain that has been persisting across much of the area over the last several hours. Pretty steady in Center City, Philadelphia, but pretty light in intensity. And getting a live look right now at Philadelphia, Logan Square, the Benjamin Franklin Parkway. The roads are wet as we continue to deal with this light rain. Just need a little umbrella, not the big golf umbrella, just the little umbrella. Storm scan three showing us mid Atlantic and northeast dealing with areas of rainfall in the clouds certainly socked in right now with an area of low pressure pretty weak and it isn't containing a lot of moisture. So we're just seeing mainly light rain, but we're also seeing a little bit of rain change into snow across portions of central Pennsylvania. We do have this colder air building in on the backside behind this cold front that's working through as we speak and we're seeing a few snowflakes mixing in with some of this very light rain in the higher elevations in the Poconos, but elsewhere just dealing with the liquid stuff right now on storm scan three PA suburbs been dealing with this persistent rain over the last several hours and now starting to see some more moderate pockets of rainfall breaking out across Monco, Chester County, Delco as well, where we're seeing some of these darker green returns that true in Delaware as well. You've been quiet through much of the afternoon, but then the last two hours that rain over spreading Newcastle and Kent County over the last couple of hours and now stretching into Salem County, New Jersey as well. Future precipitation showing us We'll deal with this precip over the next several hours into the eight, nine o'clock hour. But then that area really starting to shrink the rain tapering off. Maybe a few patchy areas of drizzle as we head into midnight and then overnight tonight. That cloud deck clearing all now. Few lingering clouds along the immediate coastline. Maybe some fog to start tomorrow morning. Otherwise, we turn it over to sunshine by mid morning and sunny skies for everyone throughout the afternoon and into the evening hours and overnight tonight. Clearing skies late. It will be a colder night, so prepare for that brisk as well. Low temperature falling back to 32 degrees and then for our day tomorrow a chilly day mostly sunny high temperature though only 47 degrees and a bit of a breeze will have us feeling even colder than that 47 is now about 10 degrees below our average temperatures we are dropping like a rock in many cases 44 now in Philadelphia 46 in Allentown down to 41 in Reading temperature change over the last 24 hours significant we're down 17 degrees from this time yesterday in Philadelphia and we have a feels like temperature with that rain falling feeling like 38 degrees in Philadelphia feels like 35 in Reading. What happened to spring? Feeling like 33 degrees in Mount Pocono in your hour by hour forecast tomorrow. A lot of sunshine taking us all throughout the day, but only 40 degrees for the lunch hours. So you probably need that winter coat through the day tomorrow. 46 into the 3 o'clock hour and then falling back to 44 as we head into the evening hours. And we'll have sunshine all across the region tomorrow. But it will be a chilly day as far as averages are concerned. In the Poconos, a high of 39 down the shore. You'll top in the middle 40s. And we'll have more of a breeze along the coast tomorrow as well. Sunshine into Wednesday, 51 degrees. The Phil's home opener going to be a big day. And it's a beaut. 60 degrees and sunshine. And then we're at 70 by the start of next weekend. Oh, perfect. Boy, that sounds perfect. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm -hmm.